Welcome back to the At Home Throwdown. This week we have, um, for total reps, six rounds of 45 second burpees to a two inch plate, come to full extension at the top. You're gonna rest 15 seconds. 45 seconds jumping squat to a six inch target, touch it with two hands. 45 second rest, repeat that for six rounds, as many reps as you can get. Um, if you do have equipment, then make sure you check out our not at home throwdown. Noah demoed it this week and he wrote the workout. So my strategy on this one is to just go out fast and try to hang on best I can. Um, it's short intervals, which isn't necessarily the type of work I'm created for, but I gotta get better at it. So I'm gonna go as fast as I can, try to hold on. What were you created for? I was created to step on boxes. I was created to step on boxes. I was created to step on boxes. <laughs> 45 seconds of burpees. Man, that FedEx guy's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> he just came to say hi. He's bored. Uh, Mia, this, get this started. Tell everybody what you're up to. So I just tried to go as fast as I could. <laughs> <laughs> and you so, are a sprinter by nature, right? I am a sprinter. <laughs> that was sarcasm um, for people. I actually was a sprinter in high school track, <laughs> and I wasn't that bad. I was actually fairly good. Yeah. But I'm not great at sprinting body weight movements. <laughs> <laughs> Relative to the shorter people in this sport. Right. Yeah. However, yeah. I was really proud of my burpees in yeah. this workout. The speed? Or yeah. the technique, or, or both? Or? All of it. Yeah. I just thought, I, for my standards, I kept pace pretty well, and I felt like I moved pretty 15? quickly. 15? That was 15 and a quarter. All right. I think that's pretty good speed. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's a rep every three seconds. Yeah. And it's a little bit slower than a bar facing burpee, I think, just because jumping on the plate, getting the full extension, and coming back down is, is tough. And All right, and now. This is the worst thing <laughs> I've ever done. So, two things, real quick. <laughs> One, when I wrote the workout, I was envisioning someone jumping to, like, I don't know, uh, a ring a, or a branch, a, a, a string, <laughs> a branch, anything in, like, above their head. But Mia decided, I'm gonna jump into the wall <laughs> with this ledge in front of me. <laughs> I mean, this is, this made it way worse. So <laughs> I think we should change the standard to where everyone has to jump into a wall. <laughs> We're gonna be getting people sending us black eyes and broken noses because they hit their I got faces. so dizzy on my first set and like, I thought I was gonna smash my nose the whole time. Yeah. As we get deeper into this, you'll see I like stop myself against the wall. Right, so in in that interval where you had to stop, were you actually tired or? Oh, my legs were on fire. Oh, okay. I did 10 to open and then I think I did like threes after that and I don't do another set of 10. So we've been doing quite a few workouts that are just kind of longer, steady, continuous state workouts for the at-home throwdowns just because of kind of the, the nature of what we have and obviously doing body weight. So we try to switch it up and do something that's, I mean, this is still pretty long. It's 15 total minutes, not yeah. of work, but still. Um, but we try to make something that's a little bit faster of a turnover. So that was kind of the idea here. And I tested the jumping air squats, not to a wall. To, <laughs> so just you because you have a jump. Yeah, just, <laughs> just, just to, you know, a ceiling or something. And they were tough just doing them by themselves. So I was like, yeah. oh man, this is gonna be nasty. Yeah, and I'm, I am always super, surprised, which I shouldn't be at this point, that a two inch jump like that repeatedly actually does really impact <laughs> your really legs hard. when you're doing repeated movements like squatting afterwards. Yeah, like, and the way you have the to burpees? jump Yeah, too. just that little jump right there actually makes a big difference and adds to the difficulty of doing the jump when you're doing the air squat jump afterwards. So this might be a product of my training because I do burpee sprints all the time, like just over and over <laughs> and over again. <laughs> but the first couple reps of the burpees, my legs would burn, and then they actually felt better. And I didn't think that the burpees were, they were hard, but they definitely weren't, for me, the meat of the workout. Oh, that's your favorite the meat of it was the, was the avoiding your face yeah. hitting the wall yeah. on the squat yeah. jumps. There was definitely some like hazards. Little shout out to another <laughs> rat dog appearance. <laughs> she's she's is that always, what that is? always there for me. <laughs> Go mommy. And it doesn't look like I'm hitting depth from this angle, but I told Kyle to judge me really tough, so yeah, I, I trust th him that I was. <laughs> I think they're pretty good. I think that is another thing. Maybe we should make a content video at some point about how a camera can be super deceiving yeah. on yeah. those. Definitely like a 45 <clears throat> high and in front yeah. of the knee yeah. makes it look the best. Yeah, yeah the only other option was facing that back wall and 
that wouldn't have been a cool video. So I also I have that. to I have to shout out people that are doing garage gym workouts. I feel so constrained. I feel like the world is closing in on me when I gotta do a hard workout in a small space like that. Yeah. Especially with somebody filming and somebody judging, it gets like twice as hot. It definitely is tough. It's tough just as far as motivation goes too if you're training by yourself at home. But you know, everyone's in the same circumstance right now and I think that that's those that that want to be tough can be tough and rise to the top. And the other thing too is like, how much nicer is it gonna be when we all get back to the gym oh. and are able to like actually train together? It's gonna be, it, Chris was actually talking to me this the other day. He's, I was like, the spring weather's awesome. I wish it was like this all the time. He's like, you appreciate it more because we just had a winter. If it yeah. was always spring, yeah. it would, you wouldn't think about it. So same thing, like hopefully we can enjoy the spring time when we get back into the gym. Yeah, <laughs> I actually have, Notice That's that California <coughs> motherfuckers are soft because <laughs> <laughs> they never have one. <laughs> Mia's kind of like that when the winter comes around, but she's yeah. tough on burpees. So. Yeah, <laughs> I am tough who would on win burpees. this workout between you two, Max? I think you should do this. I think no matter what the workout structure is, I, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna win before it starts. <laughs> <laughs> whether or not it's a reality, yeah, whether that that happens, <laughs> I pretend until the last minute, even like three seconds before the workout, she could be two rounds ahead of me. I'm like, I can still win this. Your burpee cadence is still really good. There, maybe a little bit of pressing fatigue on this one? Um, n no, not really, but I think, so, so something I've been trying to work on with my burpee speed is getting my chest down faster. I think I, I like over control on the way down. Try the Brandon a little burpee. Bit. I know, <laughs> I do try it and I, t and I think that I'm doing it and then I watch a video and I'm not. <laughs> and for the record, he did not give me that last burpee. So 14 on that one? Yeah. He's a butthead. <laughs> Did you guys fight after that? No. No. <laughs> I have noticed I don't care about no reps anymore. Like people just no rep me and I'm like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I've just become desensitized to it. Yeah, I think that's a good attitude to have if you're going to compete in the sport though. Yeah. Because sometimes you have a good rep that gets no rep and you can either let it get in your head or just like yeah. keep moving. And a judge that miscounts or something. Right. Like there's just so many things that happen. Yeah. So before this set, I told Kyle, I'm gonna do singles. Cause I thought that was gonna help me get more reps. <laughs> and it's so much harder. <laughs> It's like the positive so, top of air squat, right? Yeah, so I yeah, just... Yeah, that forward reach to get to the wall while you're like jumping straight up is definitely not efficient. This would not be the best <laughs> setup. I don't think I would be hitting my head against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see, I start like... Yeah, <laughs> oh. Do you think this workout was substantially worse because of that? Uh, Do you want to retest it? I wouldn't mind retesting it. Just jumping to a pull-up bar? Yeah. We can do it together. Sure. I don't know, I think, I mean, <laughs> jumping air squats to me are so hard. I think it's because I'm I'm used to like tempo squatting mm. with that slight pause at the top and it just, you're just always under tension and I blow up on them. Yeah. You also have to decelerate so much more weight coming from the air as opposed to having your feet already on the ground. Yeah. Like you're landing and absorbing that impact on the way down. Yeah. Plyos are hard in any capacity. <laughs> so. Another thing I would adjust on my burpees would actually be to back up a little more because I I think I was like worried about hitting my face and controlling the descent a little too much. And for me, that hop onto the plate wasn't really that hard. It was actually kind of fun. <laughs> so if you were farther back, you think that I jumping think a little bit farther forward wouldn't have affected you? I don't think so. That didn't feel yeah. like much of an issue. It actually felt surprisingly smooth when I was warming it up. I was like, oh, this is, because I was gonna step up on them. And then I tried the jump and I was like, oh, this is really isn't that bad. So I feel almost like a bad coach. Is the score of this um, <clears throat> total reps, is it lowest round? What's, how, how are we scoring this? Yeah, we were just scoring at total reps. Total yeah. reps yeah. So for total reps, would you have people go out at a full speed pace almost and just plan some fall off? I mean, 230, it means after the air squats, you're getting 45 seconds, or no, 30 seconds of 45 rest. 45 seconds, 45 seconds. seconds yeah. of rest yeah. every round. Yeah, I, I would, yeah, Just go almost out full, sprint. full out. Yeah, for the burpees, um, because you are you get back to them with a 45 second rest, I only fell off by one rep. Yeah. So I did 15 for two rounds and then 14 after that, Max just spilled coffee on himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but, and then the squats, I don't think that pacing would have made it any better. 
like you might as well just get the reps while you yeah, can because you're ask. gonna explode. That's yeah. where the people are gonna fall off, right? Because yeah. 45 seconds is enough to at least sprint-ish yeah. your burpees, but you're going almost right into your air squats, right? right? And those 45 seconds take forever. <laughs> the they burpees. probably take about 45 seconds. But. <laughs> well, <laughs> so my first set of air squats, I did 26. Actually, I'm not even gonna call them air squats. My first set of death squats, I did 26. <laughs> and what round is this? So you just finished your fourth. So that was 20. More. Yeah. I think so. every time you touch the wall, it should be an over yeah. <laughs> You were yeah, leading against it's with your, that Unless one. it's with your face. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> would have gotten a bloody it. nose if I had stopped myself did towards the end. Yourself? No. You were close. On Hold that. on, I, on I the was... 230, this would be this would be start of four, right? Zero, two, thirty, five. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, start of five. The start of five. Mia, what's this sign on your wall over here to the left? Uh, uh, that's my little piece of motivation when I'm doing burpee sprints in my garage. It says, "What kind of teammate do you want to be?" I tell you, what, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the kind of teammate that I want jumping into the wall like that. <laughs> <laughs> Willing to risk do my anything. face to do air squat jumps. <laughs> I'll do anything for the team. I love it. I have think those been, are the kind of things you need at home too. Yeah. Have you been living up to your standard that you want to hold as a teammate? Yeah. I, like I've said three times in this video, I do a lot of burpee intervals <laughs> and I just think about that Wadapalooza workout where Luke was waiting for me on the ground during the, uh, during the burpees. burpees. Yeah. And <laughs> afterwards I cried because I felt bad. <laughs> so <laughs> that's my motivation. I like it. I need to come up with some sayings. Mine would be all mean. To myself, yeah. <laughs> like, I can't even say them out loud. The, the ones that I thought of—that's an episode that we need to do. <laughs> Max's what is, sayings. What is really going on in Max's head? Yeah, I think I would lose anybody that was previously a fan of mine. Would no longer be. I'd probably build a new audience. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many you've lost making fun of my dog. <laughs> <laughs> probably a lot. They all agree. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, the real question is how many friends did I make doing that? <laughs> so Man. you did 20 on the last round. How many did you do on this round? I think I also did 20. Okay. Yeah. And doing you definitely twos are losing was your balance so there. hard. Yeah. yeah, I was, my legs were struggling. Watching you actually really, I'm excited to do this because I want to see what that feels like jumping to a normal. You should do three rounds normal and then three, three rounds, rounds like in that. the wall. Yeah. I'm curious, because I really do think that would be very disorienting to I have agree. the wall. I know even doing wall squats, they called me out in the, <clears throat> in the level one, they did my squat therapy as part of like, yeah, the I group analysis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which I was like, come on, really? Uh, but I realized doing the like squatting with my eyes that close to the wall actually disoriented me. It wasn't that the position was hard. It was just like the visual cue of not being able to spot the floor or something ahead of me actually changed my balance. So I would imagine the same thing happens here with a wall. Yeah, it definitely makes it hard. I mean, squatting with like my toes are against the wall, it's very hard for me yeah. to squat. Yeah. All right, so last round, Mia, did you, were you thinking last round, fast round, or survive? Always. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, did, were you successful? <laughs> I mean, I finished my 14th burpee with, I think, one second left, which was better than the rounds before where I finished with no seconds rest left. Yeah. However, that didn't give me another Another yeah. rep. You so. definitely started faster here. You can see <laughs> that you're a little more aggressive. Yeah, your compression on your burpee is definitely, I mean, it's a lot better and it looks crisp too. I, I think a lot of people are going to struggle with this that jump up with two feet because they can't hinge as much. Yeah, hinge and hinge that much with like balanced foot and, and knee bend. Yeah. I can't do that. I either have to be like straight legged and bent over or if I get my knees bent like that, I'm up on my toes. So. I don't know what that says about you, Mia. More fluid. Uh, yep. You're like water, as sure. Bruce Lee would say. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm like something else on these squats, though. All right, yeah, I felt one. like I couldn't sit into the squat naturally. Like yeah. it was very labored and awkward. You naturally too do have a tendency when you get tired to fold more mm -hmm. and rely on like your back and hips to stand you up. I know like sometimes that gets you with heavy snatches or yep. I remember kettle, kettlebell deadlifts specifically. So having to stay this 
this will probably have to actually keep your torso more vertical. I'd be curious to see like your spine angle during these squats versus squats like in just an air squat running workout or something, if it's different at all. Yeah, in the <clears throat> pictures from our synchro air squats at loose, or at yeah. Wadapalooza, that loose workout, yeah, yeah, yeah. my chest was really far forward, and I was like, ooh, that looks crappy. But I <laughs> yeah. was hitting so the maybe standards, is, so. <laughs> so lesson learned, you should do all your squats in, in front of a wall to make sure you don't hit your face. Yep. Mm, have fun, guys. All right, so like round recap. Burpees, 15, 15, 14, 14, 14, 14. Air squats, 26, 23, 22, 20, 20. 21. 21? Yeah. Can't read your handwriting. <laughs> well done, Mia. It's a wrap, you know what I'm saying? Your boy Project Pata in this thing, man. Hey, look, man. Thank y'all for watching Train and Think Tank YouTube channel. Y'all hit that motherfucking subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? So y'all go ahead, man. Thank y'all for watching the channel, you know what I'm saying? Hit that motherfucking subscribe button. Let it be known what it be known what it be known, you know what I'm saying? Pata.